This was the old font clamp calculator tool that I know a lot of you love. And this is the new one that you can add to your WordPress admin dashboard sidebar. The link for this is in the video description. Go and copy the code. Go and add a new snippet to the Code Snippets plugin that you can get for free from the WordPress repository. This is really damn good. Before we had this and this did work, you could go and set your root HTML size. You could switch to using REM or pixel when you enter in your value. You could enter in your minimum or your maximum width and you could enter in your minimum or your maximum font size. And when you're done all of that, you go and hit generate CSS and it generates the CSS. I and many of us go on and on about font clamp responsive fluid typography. So definitely make sure you use it. But this is what the old font clamp calculator snippet used to do. This one developed with the help of Canva code to get the visual representation and a bit of chat GPT just takes it up a massive notch. And I've zoomed in just to make it clearer for you. So you can switch between using pixel or REM when you're entering your values. You can change your root size. So look at the value over here. We have 1.5 REM. If I go and change that to be a 10, can you see it's modified the, all of the formulas that sit below really, really quickly. Your minimum, your maximum width. So let me explain. You've got different design devices. So if you go and say for the extra, extra large, the minimum size is 2.25 REM and the maximum is 4.25. I'm going to switch it to pixel for, because it might be easy for some people. If you're, if you go to look at your website on a screen or a mobile phone and the screen resolution is less than 350 pixels in width, your font will not be smaller than 36 pixel, right? And if you're viewing it on a big monitor, it doesn't matter how big the monitor is. Once you've hit 1,100, it will not grow bigger than 68. Now, what if your device screen is, say, 1,000 pixels? So it's between 350 and 1,100. Well, your size will no longer be 68. It might shrink down to be something like, I don't know, 66 or 65. What it does is it scales your font. So between 350 and 1,100, your font size could grow from 36 pixel to 68. Well, that's the range, right? And your thresholds you have set. Believe me, you definitely want to be using this. But I just want to show you how versatile and brilliant this is. If I click on any one of these, it highlights it for me over here. I get a preview of what this will look like on your mobile phone or when you hit 350. And what will it look like? on 1100 or a desktop it doesn't matter if i click over here or over here it will highlight it and what's really cool is let's say i go and click small it's highlighted it it actually then gives us that specific class code and this code is written to handle your h1 your h2 your h5 your paragraphs and your text so rather than you creating multiple classes for medium h1 medium h2 medium h3 you can just paste all of that in one go or you can paste all of them. Just go and click copy all over here or copy that particular class. You can change the name of these items. So I can click over here and I could change it. I'm just going to pop a CC and hit save and you'll see it now appears. I'm going to pop it back to what it should be and you can go and mess around with your sizes. So now I'm going to set the minimum to be 40. And that is now slightly bigger than what I had before. I can go and add in a size. So say I want something in between X medium and large. So I'm going to hit add size. I'm going to call it XX medium. I'm going to set it to be 22 and we'll go for something like 38 and I'm going to hit save and that is now added but it's in the wrong place right don't worry I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to stick it over there so now I can see my slightly bigger font at any time you can get rid of it as well so let's just go and delete that and it's gone but that is a way better representation of the font clamp calculator tool that I think a lot of you are going to want to use. I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. The code for this is in the video description. I'll see you soon.